Tick. While staring at the clock in the waiting room at the ER, my mind wanders to places that it need not roam. Tick. And now I'm caught in these existential thoughts because I believe in God, yet I'm afraid to die, but I'm more afraid to live. That may sound confusing, just hear me out. Tick. The times I feel closest to death is when I feel most alive, so I tuck vitality under lock and key, pray every night that joy don't come in the morning because joy always comes before morning, just like life always comes before death. And anxiety ain't in my blood, but it's akin to me. That's why I've adopted this nervous tick, just trying to get a grip, but shaky hands and sweaty palms don't make way for a grasp on reality. I just want to fulfill life. One of heartfelt celebrations, living in the moment, casting away twilight's uncertainty. But even in bliss, I can still hear the tick of death's clock. And now I'm questioning everything. My instincts say preserve life. Even at the risk of losing joy, my heart says embrace these moments because they don't come back no more. And now I'm here, staring at these two hands on the clock wedged between pseudo-dualities. I can hear it growing louder. Tick, tick. My fear has me overly patient. Tick, tick. My drive got me feeling complacent. Tick, tick. It take time to execute dedication, tick, tick. Look at this time that I wasted. Now that much closer to the grave with so much left undone, the ink on these pages of life still wet and I can already feel the book closing. That's why the story must be heard now. For no one cares about tales from the crypt, tick. Can't y'all decipher this? This trepidation lingering behind fabricated smiles and counterfeit laughs, what I'm saying is I need saving because my life is fading in anticipation of when the clock stops ticking.